I gotta say, Soma has really ranked up high on my liking list. I mean, my favorite character is still Megami, but this just confirmed even more that Soma is a nice guy. He is not some insufferable genius, even though he does some things for his own gains, he still acknowledges his friends. For this is the Shogeki no chapter 148. We still have not yet seen despair. In fact, we only see more boasting. However, we see someone, some things that makes me hmm, wonder. Either way, we unfortunately did not see the Polar Star door defend, at least not that much. And they were just about to break into a window, but then they got a break because, well, as you know, well, not a break, they got a call. Soma won over Izan, and let me just say, it was overwhelming. <laughs> and the thing is, despite all the grudges, well, technically Soma is a character who tends to not hold a grudge, he still says he is ready to take Izan on another time, only this time when he is completely serious, because if you think about it, Rindu did say that if he did not just focus on all of his other stuff, he actually would have become a threat. And according to um, Soma, Izan didn't even show him his speciality. Because even though he defeated an Elite 10, he cannot get his seat because the judges, the arrogant judge, despite the fact that he submitted to Soma's food, still defends saying that this was something uh, where only the storm was online. The seat wasn't bet in itself. But Soma finally got his wish at least. He finally challenged an Elite 10. Well, technically he challenged uh, Kuga, but that was not a shogeki. That was just, I'm gonna triumph over you in sales. And technically, in a way, I guess you could say that doesn't count. In a way. But either way, I said that three times, didn't I? <clears throat> Soma says that he hopes to challenge Izan another time, but Izan just wanna, wants the shogeki to be shut down. But Soma, being Soma, decides to pull one last line on everything. He takes the camera, of course he gets stage fright, because as you know, <laughs> one of Soma's uh, comic relief moments, is, is, despite the fact of his horrible experiments, <laughs> well, you know, the horrible side of his experiments, he has another running gag, is the fact that he's always so awkward every time he stands in the spotlight. <laughs> For example, when he was gonna hold his badass boast, <laughs> he was sweating when he was being interviewed, and now when he's gonna on camera. <laughs> it's especially funny because he says everything the same time. He says something like, oh, oh, I'm suddenly getting so nervous, and everybody says, Yes, say your lines! <laughs> what he says to Central is, If you try to mess with my friends, I won't forgive you. And you might think of us as weaklings, but we're not gonna let you walk all over us. If you're looking for a fight, we'll give you one, and mercilessly kick all your asses, even if you are an elite 10. Because here is this, Soma acknowledges his Polish Star Dawn friends, and I think even all the other one. Because he knows they are not weak, they are not, they may not be as high ranked as Soma, but the Polish Star Dawn consists of strong people in its own right. And it's especially funny or heartwarming that two very important people are watching the monitor. Roland, this, the French stern chef, and Sai Simon. Wait, Sai Simon? Well, he was usurped. Well, sorry, I cannot say that word. I was gonna say usurped. Is that the right word to say it? Don't correct me. Either way, he's actually also watching this. I thought he was kicked off the place, but I guess he's not. He may have lost his right to Totsuki, but he is still in his army. Now, pfft, did I really just say that? Nai kitty! That's the word I was looking for. Oh, damn, Mimi. He is still a Nai kitty. So I guess he is just standing somewhere else. Unless, of course, this happened to have been publicly broadcast, but no it wasn't. It was just around the campus, around Totsuki. So yeah, and also all of the Azami's goons are watching too, and that includes the those 
Should we keep fight those elite ten that voted for him? I mean, now that we're finally wrapped up the Zan saga, in the next year, because will we even get a chapter next week? <clears throat> well, in next time, can we finally move on to an elite ten we have yet to talk about? I have, for example, the glasses girl. I know for a fact that she must be a cold person. Every single line of her has been completely the vote of empathy and emotion. Granted, however, Kuga is a high ha, hothead, so of course she would answer like that. But she seems like a character who would do evil things. And just not care. The guy with Saito, the samurai delinquent, the guy whose eyes are always closing. The funny thing is, when he's watching this, his eyes are still closed. It looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> and then it's Momo, that uh, cute-looking teddy bear-holding girl. What is she hiding? I mean, she shows a little bit more devilish face than she has shown in a while. Otherwise, she's just been adorable. But what is she hiding behind that teddy bear? And of course, Izagi Tsukasa is also watching with a little bit more um, face that we cannot really again say. Is he good or is he evil? I mean, people compare him to a foil to Soma, but Again, I also compare him to a foil to Megumi. Why? Well, he may be like Soma when it comes to experimentation, because he experiments and he brings out the powers of the ingredients, while Soma brings out the power of uh, thoughts from his friends in his ingredients and himself into them. But in a way, I consider him a foil of Megumi too, because if you think about it, both of them are extremely awkward in society. And Megami's speciality is getting her heart into her dishes, while Isukasa Ishi does neither of that. But that's not something we're going to talk about. Once he takes the stage, we'll talk more about that. Because I really am wondering, once the Elite Ten and the Sami really goes down on it, who is going to battle who? Now we come to a part we really can discuss, however. It's the fact that Rindo apparently has some... Uh, Flashbacks. Before she began to track down Izan and dumped all her work on Ishii, mind you, she actually passed by Satwichi. Yeah, because that's... Ishinki Satwichi. Where has he been? What has been be doing? Why hasn't he been there to defend his dorm? I mean, he is an elite 10, so of course he cannot. But if you think, sometimes... Sometimes I'm asking myself... What is... Satwichi's uh, motives, because even he, just like Rindo, is shrouded in mystery. Granted, however, he hasn't done a single thing that makes us think he's bad. He has proven his cunning, that he has, and what do you ask? Well, you remember that friendly duel he had with Soma. Apparently, according to Ibusaki, that wasn't even Satoichi's full skill, meaning he was technically taking that challenge a little bit lightly, yet at the same time professionally. And he encourages people, he does. But at the same time, he seems to be the one to let people challenge, he seems to like challenges a little bit more. Something to, he doesn't seem to like a system running just like that. Because if you think about it, he even criticized the entire place when he was talking to... Uh, is on saying that uh, they're only mocking Soma because he is like them, only better because he actually thinks and looks inside himself. I think Satoichi wants more students to succeed Totsuki, but only if they can realize their own limitations. So maybe he's looking for challenges and change. In fact, he did, it wasn't even confirmed if he did vote for Isami. Or if they even asked him. I mean, granted, we didn't see he did. But uh, the thing why I'm at talking about all about this is because before Rindu went over there, she talked to so Sat Satoichi, who said that the dorm wouldn't be destroyed. He knew Soma would win. But the thing is what he said afterwards, that's the real kicker. He said something like, and if he acts as anticipated him to eat... And if he acts as I anticipate, him to easily overthrow Izan's match-fixing scheme. Rather, the important part is what comes afterwards. Yes, and then what's the real battle starts. 
And that's what it's got to prepare for. Granted, however, that doesn't really sound like something someone is planning. In fact, it does, yes. In fact, he is true. Soma has cleared the first obstacle in his path. But we all know there is going to be more hell after this. Yeah, no doubt. In fact, the only one we didn't see on the monitor this chapter was Asami. Where is Asami? And what kind of dirty trick is he gonna do now? He hasn't made his moves yet. We gotta be careful about that. But Satoichi seems to say that everything is going according to his plan, or what he thinks is his plan. And Rindo herself confirmed that everything went down as Satoichi planned. So yeah. What do Satoichi want? Does he want to guard his fellow Kohais? Or is he someone who actually wants them to defend themselves? Because as I said before, he seems to want people to un realize their potential even if they feel they don't have any. By looking inside them. So that's maybe why he's not helping Polar Star Dorm. I think he wants them to fight back with their own guts. Who knows? Either way, the duel is over. Thugs begins to leave, but not before Soma returns, and they of course will make way for him. A bit shocked. Soma's friends greet him, but of course with some a little bit... <laughs> you remember that time when he entered the room again after he saved Megumi and all that stuff, and Yuki just punt slapped him in the face. Technically she did not do it this time, but they actually said, You reckless idiot! <laughs> And then she begins to get more again, and that she was just uh, thanking Soma or everything. <laughs> As everybody smiles at Soma, thanking him for everything, he smiles back. With that, they all return to their dorm. Their dorm is uh, saved. They can now celebrate. But again, what despair awaits us? Will we get a hint of that next week before this year is over? Because if, you if you're talking about it, there's a lot of manga that people have been talking about that I will never acknowledge, even though I know I, they are very, very good. Because there's some parts of them I won't really say. But in a way, I would say that Shugeki no Soma have really been good this year. From a minor disappointment from the way that Soma didn't win that election arc to a high space stage year week that actually started slow but accepted then finally to where we finally saw all the Elite 10 and then to the challenge of Kuga and Azami I mean you just gotta you had to admit that Shogeki no Soma has really been good this year if not this year at least the last six months really created excitement so what awaits us next year when will asami makes his move what kind of despair will he throw in the polar star dorm because if you think about it there is no way asami is gonna stay quiet after this and i'm afraid i'm afraid what despair he's gonna throw at us but i can't guess can you well if you're still watching, give me your thoughts if you have any.